Almost every base nutrient additive can be used as a foliar application, but what we want to provide you today is our recommendations for great unique supplements that will get you awesome plant responses when used as a foliar application. First, we'd like to start by saying if you want to be spraying food or if you want to be spraying fungicide, pesticides, or some people do a cocktail of everything. To begin with, you're always going to want to use some form of wetting agent. This one, this Easy Wet I see, as you might have watched in a previous video, is an unbelievable product. Not only is it the surfactant wetting agent, but it also is a minor pesticide. So the cool thing about that is this can be mixed with any product and you're going to be turning your food spray or your pesticide spray even to even greater of an opportunity to knock out the pest. This is a product by Nectar for the Gods. This is their proprietary formula that works wonders. Anybody that's not doing foliar sprays needs to put this into action. It's an amazing foliar spray that is first and foremost a kelp extract. It's also going to have some proprietary ingredients in here that are going to help a lot with the foliage development, root zone health, as well as helping boost the immune, immune system of the plant. Important thing about this product is you want to spray it during veg. You don't necessarily have to do it all the time during veg, but it's important to do it at least the last few weeks of veg as you're going into your transition into flower. The idea behind it, notice your internodal spacing will stay short and your flowers will stack on top of each other quite greatly. Yeah, the great the great part about the Bloom Chaos is it can be used veg all the way through flower. Um, we do recommend this product to be used in flower at least the first four weeks of flower. So the full power, this is going to be your fulvic acid. This is going to help allow whatever food you're spraying in your foliar application it's going to help uptake it into the plant through the stomata. The cool thing about this product is the same as the Bloom Chaos can be sprayed or fed through the root zone. As long as that acid is available to the plants, anything that you add to it from there forward will be immediately taken in. Azimax, Azdiractin, great product. Obviously it's organic. It also has no ability for the pest to build up an immunity to it. Azadiractin is a product that can be used as a preventative. It can also be used if you already have an outbreak of pests in your garden. Azimax is a safe product that is human and plant safe. It can be applied as often as every five days. Uh, Azimax is a product that we recommend to be used in conjunction with all of these other products that are sitting out here on the shelf. Codfish hydrolysate, and the cool thing about this product is it is full of amino acids. As you see by the NPK, it's gonna be a, a nice nitrogen shot for the plants. However, what this product is mostly for is amino acids. As most people know, amino acids are the building blocks of life. They help build protein chains and so that's exactly what this is going to do for the plant. It's going to allow it to be overdriven and not miss a beat as far as growth pattern. The cool thing about the amino acids when you apply them to the plant is when you're overdriving the plant or when it's an accelerated growth variety that's going to allow it to not miss a beat and it's going to continue to grow at that fast accelerated rate. And here we have the Monterey Garden Insect Spray, which is Spinosad. Spinosad is an amazing all-natural pesticide. Spinosad is very unique because it's very, very gentle on the plant. You can actually spray Spinosad quite late in flower. We recommend Spinosad to be the rotation product when you're doing either pest management or preventative pest spraying. We recommend uh, on a week-to-week -to, -week to rotate it with the Azimax. That way, multiple types of pests are being prevented against. Azimax really works for all pests. The Spinosad is specifically really great with thrips. Uh, we've noticed this being a really great thrip product. So those guys that are doing preventatives for multiple types of pests, we kind of recommend for the best of both worlds to try to rotate the Azimax and the Spinosad. Tinovate's a really cool product, and the reason behind it is because it is a beneficial bacteria. So it's an OMRI-listed, fully organic fungicide. It's made its way into the hydroponic industry as an unbelievable fungicide. You can spray it all the way up. They recommend you can spray it all the way up until flower. It's gonna leave any residuals whatsoever. And you can also feed it through the root zone for if you say if you had uh, root feeding nematodes or root rot. So when we're in our power bend of veg and we have great healthy plants and we don't need to use the pure protein in order to mitigate the health with our vegging plants, which again, this is a great product if you're noticing right before you go into flower, your plants need a little bit of addition to their health factor. Um, so imagine our plants look healthy, beautiful. What we're gonna use is this Bloom Chaos. The Bloom Chaos is gonna be a great product in order to help the foliage development, which is great in veg. It's gonna limit the internodal spacing, but it's gonna basically help with nodal development as well. There's also a proprietary set of ingredients in here that's also gonna boost the plant's immune system to help mitigate against pest, mold, but it's also gonna allow the plant to feed a lot more. So this is gonna be a product we wanna use at two 
teaspoons per gallon and we're going to use 10 milliliters now of the full power. We're going to use 10 to 15 milliliters of the Easy Wet as our wetting agent that also has some antifungal and pest attributes and we're going to use two tablespoons of the Spinosad. Now, if you've already used Spinosad maybe the week previous, let's rotate that and let's ask you to use 15 milliliters of the Azimax. So we have two teaspoons, we have 10 milliliters, we have 10 to 15 milliliters, and we have 15 milliliters of the Azimax or two tablespoons of the Monterey Garden Spray. So we have our anti-pest preventative, we have our fungal as well as our pest mitigation, but really this is the wetting agent that's going to also be a leaf shine and open the stomata of the plant. We have our product that's going to help the plant consume a lot more food at the root zone, and we have our product that's going to help the plant's nodal development, less internodal spacing, and help for foliage development. So that is our veg formula. Now it's going to flower. What is a product that's going to be really beneficial to the plant and flower? Let's just admit this, if you are in that first week of flower and you notice that your plants uh, are maybe not to that health level that you would like them to be, maybe it's week two of flower or week three of flower. This is again a product that we would like you to use. Now if we are in week one, two or three of flower, we're trying to get our plants vigor to really excel. What we want to use is four tablespoons of the pure protein. We want to use 15 milliliters of the full power. We want to use 15 milliliters of the easy wet. And then if for our pest preventative, we'll use either two tablespoons of the Monterey Garden Spray, or if you'd used it the week previous, we would use 15 milliliters of the Asmax. And again, this is going to be our recommendation for those folks in one, two, three weeks of flower if they need their plants health. To, to either bounce back or they're trying to get their plants to be to the health factor that they are intending. Now imagine you're in week one, two, or three, or maybe even four of flower and your plants look really healthy, but you want to know you're getting that max production. Here we go. We have the Bloom Chaos, which is again going to be two teaspoons per gallon. We have our full power, which we'll recommend to be used 10 to 15 milliliters per gallon. We have our Easy Wet which again is the wetting agent, which we're gonna to recommend to be used up to 20 milliliters per gallon. And uh, let's imagine that we're in week two and one, we would actually recommend the first two weeks of flower to use Azimax, and then the third week, if you're continuing to do foliar sprays, to use two tablespoons of the Monterey Garden Spray uh, a little bit later into flower. Now, if I was to use only two of these bottles, I'm not doing pest preventative, maybe I have a different system of doing so, and I'm cutting this out, that's fine. Um, we would still recommend that you use these three products. And it's kind of funny, we just gave you three different phases of growth, but what we noticed is we used very similar bottles. And the reason being is we're not really giving you a, a bloom spray for, for a food, for an NPK. Uh, the reason why is we're imagining that you're feeding a lot of that at the root zone, but what we want to do is give you all of the products that are going to speed up the ability to eat that food, is going to allow the plant to mitigate pest and mold, is going to allow the plant to grow its foliage to your desired specifications, and this awesome product which can be used as a bridge or a band-aid if your plants ever have any difficulties from the beginning stages of veg all the way into let's say about week three of flower. Now, if your plants tend to get powder mold quite often and you want natural remedies for it, this Actinovate is a product that can be used at a quarter dosage with any of the foliar recipes that we just gave you. So you would use a quarter dosage of this product. Now it wouldn't be a product you would use if you already had powder mold. This is going to be somebody that knows they have a powder mold susceptible type of genetics and they want to mitigate doing a lot of foliar spraying. But let's also recommend this. If you are watching this video and you're now getting get it 
active doing foliar uh, applications to your garden for the first time and you're somebody that uses a sulfur burner, we recommend that if you've used a sulfur evaporator in your garden that you give yourself about 10 days before you spray your garden. The reason why is we want to see some of that residual sulfur to oxidize off the plant because sometimes when you foliar spray right after a, a, a sulfur burn, you can sometimes get sulfur concentration which can cause some phototoxicity, a little bit of burn to the leaves. So if you've done a sulfur evaporation process, we would like you to wait um, at least maybe seven to 10 days before you start doing uh, a foliar spray application. So if you are going to choose when to do your sulfur burning application as your mold preventative, we'd actually recommend that you do it a little bit later in the flower and you do as much foliar spraying as you intend in the beginning stages and then do your sulfur evaporation last. The bloom chaos is one of the strongest components to, to to what we're giving you as driving force that you're gonna see with your foliage development with all of these recipes that we've given you. The Full Power is a great support product and also could be fed at the root zone if you decide to, to intertwine this into your nutrient program, it's a great option as well. We also have a little more cost effective solution to put in your nutrient program if you're feeding in a large reservoir, which would be the TM7 or the Cyto Plus, which isn't as premium as the Full Power, but it's also great products by the same company. And then the Easy Wet is also a product that even though we're giving you on the recommendation for the foliar recipe, this is a beautiful product to feed one to three times throughout the beginning to end phases of the plant growth. We completely recommend this on your initial watering of your medium with your nutrients or not as a wetting agent to the medium. It's going to not only be a carbohydrate, a food source to the medium when you use it as a wetting agent to the medium, but it's that wetting agent effect is what we're really going after. If you've ever harvested plants and noticed there wasn't great root development all throughout the pot, it wasn't balanced, what you might have is dry pockets and dry pockets tend to happen quite often. So we recommend this product to be used uh, really in the beginning stages when you're initially planting your garden, whether it's veg or you're planting into your flowering sized pots. And again, uh, maybe halfway through flowering when you're doing one of your flushes, uh, we recommend this product to be used on the flush because it's again going to not only be a wetting agent to the medium that's going to allow the, the medium to dry out more evenly all throughout the room, but what it's also going to do as a kelp and seaweed extract is be a food source to any bacteria you might be feeding in your medium, any beneficials you might be feeding in your medium. It's a great product to be used in many different fashions.